Hey guys, this is uh, Bilal Haider and this is the seventh part of the video series. Uh, the video series in which we are learning about forex trading. And in the past video, I told you about the leverage and I told you that you should choose one 100 leverage for your account and with $100 investment um, uh, you should uh, make it a 1 100 leverage okay and you should not trade more than 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 lots okay but that is on a standard account I told you and uh, I must tell you that if you are a beginner to forex trading you should not make accounts on uh, standard accounts okay because for standard accounts uh, you need to have much more investment okay hundred dollars are not enough and I suggest you to make an account with uh, with a company which is offering you um, <coughs> The second type of accounts that is mini accounts okay so uh, you should make an account with a broker which is offering a mini account and you should trade uh, on that with an investment of 100 bucks and you should set your leverage to be 1 100 and you should not trade more than 0 0.01 lot on that okay I hope that makes sense to you because I want you guys to not risk huge um, huge lots by trading huge lots because that's very risky business this forex market and you should trade very carefully in it I will tell you each and every details in the later videos um, but I need to clarify this thing that when you're investing 100 bucks um, you should make an account with a mini account okay the broker which is offering a mini account and you should not trade more than 0 0.01 lots on that okay at maximum you should trade 0 0.1 lots on a mini account okay so that is equal to the 0 0.01 on standard account anyways let's get started with this video in here which i'm making in here and that is what are the buys and sell trades and what are longs and shorts okay so for that i have uh, i'm making this video and i'm explaining you what is a buy trade and what is a sell trade uh, which we uh, trade in this forex market okay but before uh, telling you that i must tell you that uh, longs and shorts if you're thinking that longs means a trade with a longer period of time that's not right okay these words are uh, just used uh, as buys and sells okay longs means buys and shorts mean sells okay if you're if someone is saying that i'm taking a long position that means he has opened a buy trade okay it does not mean that he has opened a trade for a longer period of time that's not correct um if you will go with words that means different but if you will understand the are um, why they are used that's uh, that's what we that's what i'm telling here okay um like some people say i'm on a short position that means he has placed a sell trade and that's i uh, that is what i'm going to tell you that what is a buy trade and what is a sell trade okay and that means the same what is a long position and what is a short position so let's go here you can see uh, I have written the exchange rate uh, for your US dollar here and bid and ask values as you know in the, from the previous uh, videos. So here you go. Here I am going to tell you what is a buy trade or, what, or, or say what is a long trade. Let's say you are on a mini account and you have opened a position of one lot size whatever your investment was. Okay so <coughs> let's <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay let's say you were having an investment of 500 bucks and you are on a mini account and your leverage is one 100 
okay and if you're on a mini account and your leverage is 1 100 then you can trade five lots at maximum but here in this example i am trading one lot and um i am giving you this example here to calculate how much uh, gross profit you will make if market moves in your favor and what will be the net profit uh, which you will be making in here okay so here you can see let's say you are on a uh, on a mini account and you have opened a position um, a buy trade a long position of one lot size with your US dollar pair and um, let's say you opened it at the uh, 1.3247 okay and <coughs> that means um you have purchased um uh, ten thousand euros okay and that that ten thousand euros uh, are equal to one three two four seven us dollars if you're trading one lot that means you are purchasing one uh ten thousand units of currency on a mini account okay that means uh you are you have purchased ten thousand euros 10,000 of euros and if you multiply uh, if you exchange that with uh, uh, US dollars that means you uh, you have 132.47 US dollars okay let's say that you have purchased uh, you have opened a buy trade that means you have purchased uh, you have uh, bought euros and now you have those euros okay and uh, now <coughs> the market is moving now and it has moved um, it has moved to 1.3300 to this exchange rate okay after some time one day or so the rate has been changed now and now uh, as you uh, you have purchased one lot of euro US dollar that means you have purchased 10,000 units of euros and if you will multiply with that rate that means you now have if you will exchange back to the um, if you will close your trade that means you will uh, sell um, your euros back to the market opening a buy trade means buying that currency okay opening a buy trade means that you are buying euros and in exchange with us dollars okay and opening and closing that buy trade means that you are you are selling back uh, those euros to the market okay to the exchange company that means uh, if the rate is now 1.3300 now your uh, 10000 uh, euros equals 13300 um, US dollars now if you will close that trade how much uh, profit you will make let's say you open the trade at 1.3247 and after the market has been changed uh, the rate has been changed to 1.33 now you are you have closed your position that means you have sold back those euros to the market and you have exchanged that with US dollars okay so now now you have um, how much profit you will make from this okay so that is if you will subtract one uh, 13300 uh, to 13247 you will get 53 dollars that is your gross profit okay if you have opened a position 1.3247 but uh, because the company charges you some spread that is the broker's fees and if uh, that if you will pay that um, then you will calculate your net profit that is your actual profit and let's say the spread was two pips so you are on a mini account one lot equals one dollars so two pips spread equals two dollars so fifty three dollars minus two dollars equals fifty one US dollars okay so that's how that's how you place a buy trade in the market and what uh, actually buy means that means you are purchasing the currency on the left hand side and when you close that you're selling it and buying 
the currency on the right hand side okay i hope uh, that makes sense and i hope you uh, you are uh, you have understood uh, that concept which i have told you in here okay so now you understand what is a buy trade or what is a long position or long trade and you also know how to calculate gross profit and how to calculate net profit by the way when you will be uh, when you will be actually trading in the market you will not be needing to calculate all this okay these calculation will be done on on the software that you will be using okay so uh, these um, videos i'm making because i am telling you the very basics of forex okay uh, because when you have a good base and you're actually trading in the market you will know what exactly you're doing by opening a trade and closing a trade what actually opening a trade means and what actually closing a trade means so that's what it means which i have told you in this video part can i now let's move on to the next slide and that is what is a sell trade or what is a short position okay let's take the same example in here and uh, that is your us dollar pair in the same rates when you're actually selling um, when you're opening a sell trade uh, in the market on this pair that actually means you are selling euros and you're buying us dollars okay does that make sense okay when you're actually opening a sell position that means um, you are uh, selling euros and you're buying us dollars okay let's uh, go down and uh, let me uh, give you uh, let me clear it with an example that is let's say if euro is getting stronger that means usd is getting weaker okay and if us dollar is getting weaker that means now you can purchase more us dollars with euros um, um, that means let me take a, an example from the real world let's say uh, you're about to uh, buy some tomatoes okay and let's say you can purchase uh, 10 tomatoes uh, with one us dollars okay if the rate of tomatoes is getting lower that means now you can purchase uh, let's say 15 tomatoes with one us dollars okay so does that make sense okay so in our case with what uh, what i have written in here let's say the current exchange rate is 1.3247 and it changes to 1.3200 in that case the us dollar is getting stronger okay that means um, now when, um, in, the, in the past uh, when the rate was 1.3 to 4 7 um, uh, in that in that in that time you were able to purchase uh, with one euro 1.3 to 4 7 us dollars okay but now with one euro you can purchase 1.32 US, do US dollars that is now you are purchasing less US dollars with one euro that means US dollar is getting stronger and euro is getting um, weaker okay in that case if you will sell euro and buy US dollars okay that means you are buying US dollars at a cheaper rate that is um, uh, 1.3247 that is a cheaper rate okay uh, when you're actually buying US dollars okay and you're not buying uh, euros okay so <coughs> um, I know it's pretty uh, it, it's pretty confusing um, uh, the best solution for this was to write the rates in euros in here that one euro equals this much dollars and one euro equals this much dollars and also i i uh, if i was written um 
I have written here the rate of one jury equal this much dollars. But if I was uh, having the rate in the quotation was in euros, that one US dollar is equal this much euros, then that that uh, that example was pretty clear. But you have to understand it here. Um, if this is the case, uh, when the rate is going down, then you need to buy US dollars and you need to sell euros. Okay, if you do this then you will make profit in this forex market and that what i have written down down there in the last point that is buy us dollar at a lower rate and sell it at a higher rate let's say and let me go to edit mode and let me write some random random numbers here let's say the euro of uh, one us one US dollar equals 0 0.9854 euros come on and after some time one US dollar equals 0 0.98 uh, let's say 99 euros and let me go to the that mark okay if this is happening in the market that means the rate of um, that your <coughs> your euro is weakening okay and <coughs> that means you can purchase um, uh, more euros with one US dollar now okay that means euro is weakening in that case you need to sell euros and you need to buy US dollars okay in that way you will make the profit and same the case in here if you do that your one pip change will be equal to ten dollars profit on a standard account okay that means uh, by watching this slide you are now able to uh, tell what is a sell trade or what is a short position okay and when you actually make a buy trade and when you actually make a sell trade uh, you will be able to do that uh, uh, to do that after watching this video okay and this is the end of the slide i hope you have learned uh, what is the difference between buy and sell trade what is uh, what are the terms long longs and what are the what is the term short means how do you calculate gross profit and how do you calculate net profit okay this was pretty much all about this video part i hope you have learned something and uh, this was pretty much all about this video part and before i uh, before i uh, finish it i must tell you that i have made a, a facebook page on which i am sharing all my these videos which i am making in here and I will be posting that link in the comments below so that you can reach that and you can post uh, comments there on the um, on the video and also you can comment under uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube uh, but I would like you to join my that page and share your reviews about my videos if you if i'm making something uh, difficult for you to understand um point out and let me tell um, and, um ask uh, that thing and i will try to answer that question okay um okay that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching see you next time